Welcome to a brand new week. We've had uh, our Easter celebrations, but the story is not over. So throughout this week, we will be talking about the appearances of Jesus Christ after his resurrection. And so we begin from John's Gospel, chapter 20 and verse 19. Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in the midst and said to them, Peace be with you. Jesus stood in the midst of them. A very momentous day for them. This is the first day of the week. It is Sunday. Uh, the day had begun early in the morning uh, when the disciples or the women had brought message that Jesus Christ uh, was risen. Uh, Peter and John had raced to the place. Uh, they found the grave clothes, but uh, there was no body of Jesus. Then some of the women reported that they had seen Jesus. So you can imagine what has been happening to the disciples since early morning. And just that evening, two men had come from Emmaus on the way to Emmaus and had reported that Jesus had met them. And they were discussing all of these things. Is it real? Is it possible? So the disciples were now gathered in a place, and it's likely it's in the upper room where they probably had the Last Supper, and uh, this would be a familiar place for them. So they are gathered, the door is shut, and the passage says the door is shut because of fear of the Jews. So among the disciples, two things are playing out. Fear of the Jews, Jesus has been crucified, Will they come for us next? So there is fear of the Jews. And then there is faith building up because they've heard the message that he is alive uh, and they're hearing all these stories. They can't confirm all of it. So there are two things playing out, fear and faith. I don't know whether it's familiar with you. You know, there are some times that both fear and faith are struggling to dominate you. There is a fear in you, but something about the word of God, something you've heard about God's word, something, a promise you've heard, a sermon you've heard is beginning to build faith in you. But at the same time, you're not too sure. It's too good to be true. Can I believe it? Can I trust it? And that's where the disciples were. And Jesus came and stood in the midst of them. He didn't knock. He didn't break the door. He walked through the door or just appeared. We don't know whether he walked through the door or they just saw him in the midst of them. But for some reason, he bypassed their precautions. He bypassed their fears. Jesus was demonstrating what you are afraid of. I am victorious over. And that's what we have to remember. What we are afraid of, he is victorious over. And he's also showing them, you can't shut me out of your lives. I will come in and I will minister to you. So the doors could not lock him out. The fear of the Romans could not lock him out. And he came through the doors manifesting that in his resurrected state, nothing could be a hindrance between him and his disciples. He would always get to where they are and nothing can stop them. And Jesus comes, and the first words he speaks to them is, peace be upon you. Can you imagine the calm, the sigh of relief? He didn't come to rebuke us. He didn't come angry that we denied him or one of us betrayed him. He is not throwing tantrums that we left him alone on the cross. He just says, peace be on you. And may the same Jesus bring peace into our troubled homes this day. Let us pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, thank you for the reality of Christ's resurrection. I receive your peace into my life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.